Good morning. So today we're going to talk again about compound interest. This is the week of talking about interest. We would usually do a whole project around this, okay? So we talked about simple interest, which means that interest is applied at the end of each year or at the end of each time period to the original amount, okay, based on the original amount. So if it's $100, 5%, then at the end of each year, the person earns $5, okay? Yesterday we looked at compounded interest. Compounding means that interest is applied to the total amount. So if I earned $5 at the end of the first year, now I have $105, okay, we everyone following that. At the end of the second year, I would earn 5% on that $105, so that's compounded. My interest is added to my principal, and so therefore I earn more interest over the period of the investment, or I owe more interest over the period of the loan. Okay, so today we're going to talk about what if interest is compounded more often than at the end of the year. So what if it is compounded two times a year. That would be semi-annually, like every half of a year. What if it's compounded quarterly? That means every three months or four times per year. What if it's compounded monthly? That's at the end of each month, so 12 times per year. If it's compounded daily, that's 365 times per year. So we're going to take the same formula we used yesterday, and we're going to take a look at where we put this idea of compounding more often than once per year. All right, so let's take a look at the board here. So this is still the compound interest formula. The total amount of the loan is still based on this idea that we do the principal times 1 plus the rate of some kind to the amount of time. But let's look at this. What we're going to do is we're going to take that interest rate and we're going to divide it by the number of times it gets compounded each year. So we're actually going to take, if it's 0.5%, we're going to turn that into a 0 0.05 and divide it by 12. So we'll take one twelfth of it and apply it after January and the next twelfth of it and apply it after February and so on all the way through the whole year. If you don't have your calculator, then pause this video and go grab it because we're going to practice this together a couple times. We need to be paying attention to the order of operations and PEMDAS as we go, okay? All right. So I have my same example as yesterday. So if you watch yesterday's video, you know that we talked about $100, investing $100 at 5% for four years, but this time we're going to comp we're going to say compounded monthly. Okay? So compounded once at the end of each month, that's 12 times per year. So let's write out our formula. A equals 100 times 1 plus 0 0.05, which is the interest rate as a decimal, divided by 12 for 12 months in a year. And then this is to the nt, meaning we need to do this 12 times per year times the number of years. So that's going to be 12 times 4, in this case 48. All right, let's get our, let's get our calculators here. Are we everybody ready? Please try to follow along. Let's start. We're going to start our order of operations inside the parentheses and with, with multiplying and dividing first. So we're going to start right here, 0.05 divided by 12, and I usually do equals there, like let's find out what that equals. I have 0 0.00416 repeating, okay? Now, inside the parentheses, plus 1, so plus 1 equals 1 1.00416 repeating, to the, so now we want to do the little carrot, remember your little carrot there, so to the, and I can do this in my head, 12 times 4 is 48, so to the 48th power equals, I have 1.22089535. I don't see if you guys can, I don't even know if you can see that, doesn't matter. 
And then we need, so we've done all, we did the parentheses, we did the exponents, now we're going to do multiplication, so times 100. And I get $122.895, so I said in 9 cents. Now if you recall yesterday, when we did not compound monthly, this figure was, when we compounded just yearly with just the R there and just the T there, we, this figure was $121.55. So you can see that compounding more often actually earns more money. So in the, um, let's just walk through this very, very quickly again. The total amount of the investment, the total amount that you have at any time is the principal, or the original money that is invested, times 1 plus the rate as a decimal divided by the number of times it's compounded t to the exponent of the number of times it's compounded times the number of years. So that ends up being the total number of times it's compounded, right? If it's compounded once a month, that's 12 times per year times 4 years, so that's 48 times that this compounding, that this multiplying times 1 plus the sole decimal occurs. Okay, so if we have $100, we're going to plug in 100 where the P is, we're going to keep the 1, we're going to plug the rate in where the R is, plug the 12 in where the N is, the 12 is the number of times per year, we said monthly, and then plug in the 12 again where the N is, and a 4 where the T is for 4 years, all right? So I'm going to give you some problems to do. It's going to be a kuta page, so I'm going to ask you to do some of the right hand, some of the evens, and I'm going to write out all of the odds so that you can see example after example of how this, um, how this works, okay? I hope that you all have a wonderful day and that you are enjoying this time and that you keep learning math, and please reach out to me if you have questions, okay? Thank you. Bye.